Avian influenza is a highly contagious viral disease that affects both poultry and wild aquatic birds. Wild aquatic birds in particular, especially dabbling ducks, are considered a reservoir for the virus. In the past decades, there have been continued outbreaks of highly pathogenic avian influenza, or HBAI, in both poultry and wild bird flocks. To assess the probability of HBAI outbreaks in Europe, a spatiotemporal risk assessment tool was developed. This tool, which is called the bird flu radars, is based on spatial patterns in abundance, on the migratory routes of 12 wild bird species, and on HPAI outbreaks that are reported in Europe. The 12 species that were chosen account for 89% of all European ring recovery data for waterfowl and include many of the most widely distributed FSAT target species. This video will explain how this tool works. The abundance and distribution of the 12 wild bird species were derived from the EBP, or Euro Bird Portal. Information on the long-distance migratory movement on the species came from the Euring Data Bank, which is available on an online migration mapping tool. With this data, a statistical model was developed, and this model quantifies the probability of having at least one wild bird infected with HBAI by an incoming migratory wild bird in a certain area. This probability is called p-intro and is reported weekly. In this model, the following risk factors are included. Wild bird order and species, number of migratory wild birds, migration patterns, and the notification of an avian influenza outbreak at origin. The model is available as an online tool. In this bird flu radar, the probability of an AI introduction is visible for the whole of Europe. In the tool, the user can see the raw probability of an introduction, or raw p-intro. The threshold value for this is 0.04, and this is the value at which the model sensitivity and specificity are optimal. The sensitivity of the model, which is the probability that a positive outcome is true, and the specificity of the model, which is the probability that a negative outcome is true, are assessed by comparing the probability of an HVAI outbreak in a grid cell with actual reported HVAI outbreaks. In the tool, it's also possible to change the threshold of the intro, which either increases the sensitivity or the specificity of the model. You can zoom into each country up to a level of 50 by 50 kilometer grid cells and look at data a week in advance or at historical data. Each grid cell is colored according to the probability that at least one wild infected bird enters in it. On the Bird Flu Radar website, you can also subscribe to weekly alerts. Every week, a report showing the model output is produced. This report contains a link to a map divided in 50 by 50 kilometer grid cells for each selected country or nuts one level region. Users can select multiple countries or regions to receive reports from. You can select the threshold value of p-intro above which you want to receive emails. The standard value for this is 0.04. The report also contains summary statistics of the probability of introduction in a selected country or region. Firstly, the median probability, which is the probability that occurs the most. Also, the maximum probability is given, which is the highest value of p-intro found in the selected country or region. Also, the number of cells and the percentage of cells with at least 0.04 probability of introduction are given. And lastly, p-intro is given for the lower quartile and upper quartile of cells. So that's the value of p-intro that covers either 25% or 75% of all cell values when cell values are arranged in increasing order. Information on the number of H5 and H7 outbreaks that occurred over the last week is given as well. This information is retrieved from both ADIS and Empress I data. The bird flu radar will be further improved after its release in September 2023. We will add more species to the prediction model and hope to include movements from outside Europe. Furthermore, we will find the estimate of wild bird abundance and movement data, add data related to HBAI in poultry, and include the transmission risk from wild birds to poultry. 